Welcome to Lead Hacking. I told you I had something super exciting on the way. Uh, so today I want to share with you guys the concept of lead hacking, which is essentially the process where you create a breeding ground for leads to multiply and nurture themselves so you don't have to deal with shitty objections on all your fucking sales calls. So this is what we've been using to make thousands of dollars on fucking autopilot. And I'm going to share it with you this entire process so you can make a fuck ton of money becoming a lead hacker. So let's get into it. Let's start fucking making a breeding ground. Why did I just drag a sticker here? What? Anyone seeing this? What the hell? Get out of there. Okay, now we got to do this because I fucked it up. Here we go. Okay, so step number uno, okay, is you got to get leads with leverage. The biggest part about lead hacking is we're hacking, okay? We're, tr- we're, we're literally hacking. Not actually, but you fucking get the point. We're hacking. And so one of the things we're going to hack is our time. One of the worst things you can do is sit there for 100 hours a month and scrape shitty leads that half of them never fucking talk to, the other half tell you to fuck off. So automate your lead process. Don't fucking take 800 hours scraping shitty prospects. Uh, website, try it in the description, free trial. Um, go use this, okay? It's good. It's the best one. Now, let's move on to step number two after you've got leads, okay? Because you can't be sitting there fucking around with your dick in your hand getting leads for the next seven days straight. Okay, get that done and sorted. You gotta leverage your time. Like one of the biggest things about lead hacking is making compounding and automated leverage acquisition systems so you don't have to spend all your time sitting in your chair. You can be out on a beach making a fuck ton of money. That's what lead hacking allows you to do. Now, step number two is you gotta get attention. Okay, you have to get in front of people. You have to get the attention of individuals. Now, you can do this through a variety of different ways, but for the ways we're gonna talk about for this concept, uh, it's cold calling, you know, text messages, DMs on Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, etc. Uh, cold email, stuff like that. Okay, you gotta get attention in some way, shape, or form. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get yourself in front of people. Otherwise, this doesn't work. You need to get people, and you need to get in front of those people. Okay, capiche, capiche? Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Boom. Step number three. Right, you gotta convert them. You actually gotta convert this attention into something. You can't just have this attention fucking around on a platform. You gotta use it. So here's where we sell them the idea of receiving a Google Doc. Now you can actually sell them the idea of anything, but the point is a lead magnet. Okay, in this case, we have made the lead magnet a Google Doc because it's simpler and easier to understand. But it's any sort of lead magnet that you have. So this could very well uh, be your VSL or a Notion asset or whatever it may be, um, or Loom even. But it's a it is a way of essentially. A lead magnet. Do I need to explain any more? Go read $100 million leads. You'll learn what a lead magnet is, but essentially where you are giving them some sort of information for free that they would want in return for perhaps their email, okay, or some sort of piece of information we can use to nurture them later on. Now, next step, step number four, is we get their email so we can share it with them, okay? Simple as that. And we say, so we can share it with you. We all, obviously, we know we can share the link, but we want to get their email. Oh, hey, what's your email so I can share this with you to see if it'll even work for you kind of thing. That way, we can actually keep their information and keep their email so we can nurture them down the line. Now, step there's two steps to this. Step number one on the left, you got to collect all these emails and add them into an email campaign. So this is going to be an entire nurturing sequence uh, for months to come so you can nurture these leads on autopilot without lifting a finger. And then the second step to this, another thing you're going to do is you're going to ask for feedback on the docs. In the actual message, let's say perhaps if you're doing Instagram DMs, you are going to ask them for feedback. Hey, did you get a chance to look at the doc? If so, what, what are your thoughts on it? And also inside of the doc, there should be multiple different call to actions to actually take action, right? We want to guide our prospects on the path that we want them to take to make life easier for them. So inside of the doc, inside of the lead magnet that you do give them, make sure you have multiple call to actions to make sure that your shit is getting good. Okay, like I don't think I have to explain call to actions and why they're important, but please do it. Now, let's move down, okay? Here's what you're gonna ask yourself is if... Because you should be getting a book call from this, right? So if you book the call, here's what you're going to do. This is an if statement. If book a call, go down below. If not book a call, do the left, okay? So let's say, for example, you sent them this doc and they did not book a call. Totally fine. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the emotion logic fear email sequence, okay? So it's going to be about eight to nine emails sequence sent to them to get them to book in. Okay. Uh, there's also other things you could do that you can funnel them into Facebook groups, Discord communities, or other places where you own the attention. The concept of this is owning the attention so that way we can nurture and breed these leads so they can essentially spawn themselves into our service. So uh, we would explain that, but that's a bit too complicated for the lead hacking method. So we, we will leave it at own the attention in some sort of capacity. Okay. In this example, it is emails. Now, Let's say they did book a call, okay? Here's what you're gonna do, is you're going to book the walkthrough call with the prospect, right? They would've just booked the walkthrough call. You're going to do it. You're gonna walk them through the thing, 
Okay. And then obviously what you're going to ask yourself is obviously if you didn't close, you put them back in the email sequence. If they did close, well, the deal was closed. I don't think I'd need to explain that. Congrats. You, you got a sale. But like I just said, if you don't close the prospect because you suck at sales, whatever, we get better as we go. You're going to add them to your email list now and you infinitely, and you now infinitely have a leverage method of outreaching to warm leads because all these people agreed to getting your doc in the first place. And so now forever, you are not fucking around wasting your leads. See, like here's where people go wrong is after the call, it's done. Or after people don't book a call, it's done, right? The, those leads are gone. In this model, using the lead hacking model, you make the most of all of your leads and you allow them to essentially nurture and breed themselves so that way eventually they'll come back around because if somebody has shown interest they just need a good enough reason to buy and so maybe they showed interest but maybe they just don't want it now down the line they might and so this is the concept of nurturing your lead so that way come the time when they want or need this thing you'll be the first person they go to okay so the last few steps here to uh to make this to wrap it to make it all full circle for you all Okay, after you've added everybody to your email list, people that you booked, people that you didn't book, etc., is uh, you're creating a breeding ground for leads that are constantly warming up over time and feeding on your content, right? So essentially, the point of this is we get the people. Like, here's I'll, I'll, I'll explain traditional outreach, which is which is one to one ratios. For every one person you DM, you have one transaction that could occur, which is them, right? And what happens if you don't get the transaction, it's lost. So it's a, it's essentially a one to zero, right? Because if you DM the person, they say no, you've lost them. If you DM the person and they hop on a call and you don't close them, it's lost, right? In 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 traditional outreach, any time where the sale doesn't go our way, it's gone. The sale is gone forever. Using the lead hacking method, no matter when. When, okay, no matter when the prospect d- flares off, they can always come back because we make sure we make the most of all our leads so we don't waste time. That's why we're hacking, okay? We're fucking lead hacking. We're lead hackers. If you do this, you are a lead hacker and you're the fucking best. This is the new method, how to outreach. Make thousands of fucking dollars on autopilot, okay? Hundreds of thousands. Okay, so building this, owning the attention of your prospects, of your leads, allows you to create a breeding ground of leads that will constantly warm up and multiply themselves until they actually book a call with you and close. Okay, and then after this, obviously, you get inbound leads and making the sale is even a million times easier. Because if you know, if you know something, if you've been around this game long enough, you understand that referrals and inbound leads are the easiest people to close because they know, like, and trust you. Okay, they meet the three requirements of the triangle, which is know, like, and trust, and they have already met those requirements. So the sale is a lot easier, easier to make. So that is the concept of lead hacking. This is a super high level general overview of what lead hacking is. I will go way more in detail on each specific pillar. Uh, in the future, but I want to introduce you guys to this new model that people are using to make fucking thousands of dollars. And I highly recommend you take advantage of this because you want to become a lead hacker. And that's why. So if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments or even join my discord. I'll answer anybody there. Um, especially if you have questions about lead hacking in and of itself, be more than happy to explain. Um, but that's it. Okay. Become a lead hacker because it, it is the new way to do business. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another valuable YouTube video. Peace.